Before we start this video, I want to give a big thanks to my sponsor, Vikings War of Clans. This game was inspired by famous strategy RPGs of the 90s like Age of Empires that we all loved and played with a dedication that today's youngsters will never understand. Help support my channel by downloading Vikings for free only from my links in the description box down below, and get the special bonus of 200 gold coins and the protective shield which will be extremely useful for the start. In the past day, there has been a lot of talk revolving around the downfall of YouTuber Pro Jared. And since I haven't seen any good straightforward rundowns on the situation yet, I thought it would be interesting to talk about how a man who's been on YouTube for a decade appears to have destroyed his career in a matter of hours. For those of you who just heard about him today because of the drama, let me explain who Jared really is. Back in the day, he was employed by a website named Screw Attack, where he would host a show called Hard News. This was back in the era when people were willing to go to personal websites to view internet videos. After building up plenty of contacts and a sizable fan base, he left the website to focus on his own channel, where his scripted reviews would often pull in over a million views apiece. Not only was his channel sizable, but he was great at networking, and would show up all over the place, including a Dan Schneider-produced Nickelodeon show and Game Grumps. I would say the height of his popularity was from 2013 through 2015. In recent times, he hasn't uploaded as much to his main channel, but he never completely went away, consistently collaborating with others behind the scenes but I think this will soon change after the bombshells that dropped in the past 24 hours. It should be noted that before today's events, people saw a few signs that there was something that was about to go down, although no one realized to what extent. YouTubers surrounding the incident were unfollowing each other, and all episodes of Game Grump starring Pro Jared were taken down. From there, things started to get interesting, as Jared announced on his Twitter that he would be getting a divorce from his wife, Heidi. My wife, Heidi, and I have filed for divorce. I know this may come as surprising and upsetting for many of you, but know that we do this so that we may both seek happiness for ourselves. During this time, you may see a lot of rumors, speculation, and gossip going around. I ask that you make your own observations and come to your own conclusions. The wording in there seemed a bit suspicious, but for the most part, fans were just sorry to see that the relationship had ended. That is, until Heidi revealed that Jared had blindsided her with that statement, and had blocked her on Twitter. This is when all the rumors, speculation, and gossip that Jared was talking about started to come to the surface. It was revealed that Jared had allegedly been having an affair with Holly, an online personality most notable from Game Grumps. Screenshots were taken to back up these claims, and people pieced together that this secret relationship lined up with the end of Holly's marriage to Game Grumps' very own Rubber Rock turning this into the Game Grumps Conspiracy 2.0. Now, if the story ended right here, Jared would have probably just had to hide away for a bit and lose some online respect. But the cheating was only the beginning. It was also revealed that, allegedly, Jared had been using his online notoriety to exchange nude photos of himself with women on the internet. This is when the World Wide Web was subjected to chat logs of him sexting with strangers, along with pictures of him letting it all hang out. Literally. But you know what? This all went down with consenting adults. At the very least, we can take solace in the fact that all parties were above age. Right? Well, according to one Twitter user named Chai Temporary, two years ago when she was only 16, they apparently had been exchanging messages and pictures of the sexual variety on Tumblr. In the post, it claims that Jared was asking for nudes, which Chai sent him, while also making it clear that Jared was dealing with a minor. This didn't appear to bother pro Jared, as he explained that him and his wife were in an open relationship, next sending pictures of his genitals to the teenager. These interactions proceeded on for months between the two. While there's no proof that this story is real, many online have chosen to believe it in the face of so many other allegations. As of recording this, Jared hasn't come out to deny this claim either. As this was all going down, people were waiting for a statement from the supposed mistress. I was thinking Holly wouldn't even respond to the allegations, instead opting to stay quiet. 
but I was incorrect as she did in fact address things in a very vague, almost dismissive way. If you want to believe a hyperbolic statement from someone you don't know on the internet with no previous background information and use it to demonize strangers, so be it. If it's worth anything, you all know me. I never hurt anyone, and I only want the best and happiness for those around me. People took these tweets as denial of the allegations being spread. But at the same time, she really doesn't actually refute anything, instead going for the vague route. Because hey, if you don't say anything specific, you can't be called out for it later on. At least that's the logic I'm thinking she's going with. Of course, it doesn't seem to be working, but rather making many even more upset. Lying and denying things that can easily be proven in the online world always makes matters worse. Not only did you do something wrong, but now you're irritating people by taking them as fools. It's essentially throwing water on a grease fire. Just to be clear, it hasn't 100% been proven that this affair happened, but it's not looking good. And I'm guessing there's a reason why no one will flat out deny the allegations. Back to Jared, it appears that everything he's built up over the past decade has come crumbling down in the span of a day. He was deranked on his very own subreddit, which is now being used as a place to roast him, and his YouTube comments aren't much better. On top of this, people are watching his subtotal drop by the tens of thousands, going below the 1 million mark he worked so hard for. The fact that he hasn't been gaining any new subscribers to offset this makes me believe that the bleeding will not stop anytime soon and all because he sent nudes to strangers on the internet. I couldn't even imagine the thought of sending a naked picture of myself online to anyone, let alone a complete rando. Even if it doesn't get leaked right away, imagine the stress and paranoia it must cause to know that random people across the world have access to revealing images that can destroy your life at any moment. It almost seems like that's part of the thrill for people who do it. Honestly, in cases like these, it's difficult for me to even get angry. Pro Jared just humiliated himself in front of millions, lost the respect of his audience, and destroyed his career. Did he do something wrong? Sure, but at the same time, he's facing the consequences for his actions. We'll just have to wait and see what happens next. Hey everybody, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video today, it's really appreciated. As for the question of the day, somebody wants to know what stocks I invest in. And that's actually a good question, so I have my app open right here and uh, I invest in Nintendo stock because I feel that the company only could go up from here. They have so much potential to use all their intellectual properties to make new and exciting things that can make a lot of money, such as uh, starting with Detective Pikachu, if they made like a cinematic universe uh, out of their movies, they could make like a Smash Brothers film, and that would be like the closest thing I feel to like an Avengers sort of scenario where it just becomes like a huge box office hit for the cinematic universe. Uh, other than that, I have like all the tech monopolies. I invest in Amazon, Google, Facebook, because at this point, I think that they just kind of have dominance in the space and they're only going to go up. The only real risk I feel is if like the government gets involved and tries to break them up. But other than that, I feel that they're unstoppable at this point. They have too much power. So uh, if you can't beat them, join them. Uh, so I'm investing money in like the big players. I also have money invested in Adobe because I feel that uh, with the creative cloud, that's just the industry standard at this point. So I could only see that growing as time goes on. More creative endeavors will occur. More people will be wanting to use Photoshop, Premiere, After Effects. So I think that that's a pretty safe bet that uh, with a premium service like that, it's only going to expand as time goes forward. So I think that that's a pretty safe investment. Other than that, it's just a few random things. I have like a stock in Tesla, uh, just got one in Beyond Foods, uh, you know, Take-Two Interactive, a few of them like that. It's just kind of all over the place, but mainly focused on tech companies because that's what I know. Uh, I should probably diversify a little bit more, but uh, then I do have some money in diversified funds to do that for me. So. Uh, I hope that answers your question. I don't think you should take advice in that area from me because I really don't know what I'm talking about, but I have done pretty well in the past few months. So uh, yeah, I'll end the video here. And until next time, thanks for watching.